Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about pain catastrophizing. So I found out about pain catastrophizing when I was doing some research for my podcast and I found out about this pain catastrophizing scale that they use to measure people's responses to pain and how much they are catastrophizing or not. And what that means, well, we'll go through the examples of catastrophizing and it's more subtle than I would have thought by the name. Catastrophizing almost makes it sound like you're being dramatic and you're, you know, saying my arm's going to fall off or something, but there are very subtle things that sound like you're just stating facts a lot of the time. So pain catastrophizing, um, a couple of things they've found out about pain catastrophizing that are interesting. Um, people are more likely to get new acute injuries if they are a person who catastrophizes pain. They are also more likely for their acute injuries to turn chronic and people who catastrophize pain are more likely to have a longer recovery with more um, uh, difficulties if they catastrophize pain. So it can actually predict to some degree how you'll recover from surgery just by how you talk about pain and how you catastrophize pain if you do or not. Okay, so I'm going to read you, there's only 13 questions and what you would do is answer them um, as far as like when there were times that you have pain, how likely you are to think this. Um, zero is not at all, up to four. So do you sometimes think it or do you think it a lot when you have pain? Here they are. I worry all the time about whether the pain will end. I feel I can't go on. It's terrible and I think it's never gonna get any better. It's awful and I feel that it overwhelms me. I feel that I can't stand it anymore. I become afraid that the pain may get worse. I mean, that's one that just sounds so logical to say, right? You have pain and you become afraid that the pain may get worse. But what we know from the pain fear cycle is that actually does make your pain worse. So this is catastrophizing, okay? I think of other painful experiences, right? It's not super dramatic, but it's considered catastrophizing. I anxiously want the pain to go away. I can't seem to keep it out of my mind. I keep thinking about how much it hurts. I mean, that's common for someone in pain, right? Keep thinking about how much it hurts. Do you resonate with that? I keep thinking about how badly I want the pain to stop. There's nothing I can do to reduce the intensity of the pain. And I wonder whether something serious may happen. So there's 13 questions. You score them from one to four or zero to four. Uh, yeah, zero is not at all. And four is all the time when you have pain, you would think something like this. So, and it's interesting too, I guess I have a moment, so I'll still keep talking um, and tell you a little more about the, the pain catastrophizing scale. They have them divided up into categories of rumination. So that would be like, I can't keep it out of my mind. I keep thinking about how much it hurts. Magnification is, um, I think of other painful experiences. I wonder whether something serious may happen. Helplessness is the third category. Um, I feel I can't go on. I feel it overwhelms me. I can't stand it anymore. So you can even start to um, see from each of these kind of statements, which ones you resonate most with, if they're more along the lines of rumination, magnification, or helplessness. So people would ask, what would it be if you weren't catastrophizing, right? Just telling some of these things like they are. And that's where that concept of somatic tracking comes in. Somatic tracking is where you are feeling the pain signal and reacting neutrally to it. You're describing it, maybe the shape, the color, if it's moving, if it um, has a texture. And as you're describing it, it's like new feedback for your brain. The brain is used to, like a Pavlov's dog, it's used to this um, stimulus response, pain, and then these kind of thoughts. And what we can do is interrupt and give your brain new kind of thoughts. And then when the perception of danger is down, the pain actually comes down. The brain produces it less and less when you react differently to it. 
okay? So it's this stimulus response thing and we're changing the response and then the brain will extinguish that habit of producing pain.